Yeah, Katie, uh, we're driving right now. We're about to turn right on Muriella Avenue, and I can say that many, many of these streets are flooded right now. Uh, the streets that we're on right now, it looks to be about two inches of water or so, maybe on the roadways. Um, Anastasia Boulevard, at A1A, uh, some some ponding on the roadways there, but it that is the seemingly the most elevated of the roadways in this area, so that was okay, but uh, there was law enforcement on the Bridge of Lions preventing anybody from going across, at least from the Davis Shores side of things. Uh, I do want to point out that we are driving exceedingly slow, uh, maybe four or five miles per hour at most, just to make sure that we cause as little wake as possible. Uh, certainly the homeowners in this area don't need anything more to worry about than what's obviously going on right now. Um, I, I do want to say that we have moved from our previous location. We were a lot closer to the, the shoreline earlier, but water was creeping up and we didn't think it was safe to leave our vehicle in that area at the time. Uh, so we moved, but as we were driving away, we could see water coming over the shore quite, quite easily and quite often. Um, and that's certainly gonna continue as we get closer to high tide. Um, but yeah, that's the condition right now. It is um, a lot of wind. The rain doesn't seem to be coming down as hard as it was at times earlier this morning, um, but the, the wind seems stronger. We're seeing uh, quite a few down branches from trees. No huge damage as of yet that we could tell, um, but yeah, for now, that's what we're seeing driving around here in the Davis Shores area, guys. Thank you very much.